Hello YouTube, it's Friday, November 4th, and we, you're looking at the new updated positions. They came out with one uh, earlier today. You see it right here. They've uh, had another radar observation. The last observation used is now 11.4 uh, today, and they have the condition code uh, back to 2 now. And solution date was at 10:47 uh, this morning, and the producer is Goldstone. And you can take a look back down through the uh, close approach times, and it's basically the same as what I had last time on my program. Here we have the uh, November 11th or November 8th, 2011. And they have it at 2328 universal time for the Earth and 714 universal time for the Moon on the 9th. And uh, I went ahead and computed another position using that. We use 2005 YE55. Use the same two day spread here from the 8th to the 10th. And as you can see right here, they have the new solution date in there on the 4th. Observations, da -de da And you can look down here. And here's the elements I'm using this time. So what I did was I changed the names of the, the asteroids to Horizons is going to be the new one. YE55HZ is the new one, and I put the other one as N1. YE55HZ N1 is in November 1st. That was the last time I made a video, and the last solution was on the 1st for the same uh, same parameters here. So we can look at it, and it's basically the same. It's a little bit different. This is what we have now. I took and uh, ran it back and forth to make sure we had the right time, and the time's the same. We look at the last video here. Last video we had a distance of 326,884, and now we have 326,528, so a difference of a few hundred kilometers there. And uh, we can go to the, the moon. I did the moon first, I think, on this one. And the moon would be right around in there, I believe. And we'll swap that over to the moon here. See what it has. And I want to make sure we got the show info for the moon there. 714 again. And now we got. Okay, let's see here. The, the old one was 245, 238. And now we have 244, 904. So again, a difference of a. Uh, few hundred kilometers is all. A few hundred kilometers closer. So we can go to the next one. And it's basically going to be about the same as it was last time. I go from the Earth. And this time we'll take an uh, Look at what we got here. This is the new one up here from today. This is the one from Monday. And you look at the difference in the positions. It's about 202 kilometers. And we can take and uh, I think it has the other one on here too. Somewhere. There it is there. This is the one from the uh, the older position from a while back using the old uh, the old JPL page. It's 99,548 from there. So not much difference at all here. And uh, we can do the same thing. Go to the moon. And here's the old one here from the moon. And the new one there, and it's about 10,247 kilometers difference. And if you look at the one from Monday using the horizon system, we can see that the difference is 202 kilometers again, same thing as it was from the Earth. 
and we can go to the next one view from Soho and again we can look at the difference back here this is November 1st and from the old one to the new one is 203 kilometers and we can take and zoom out here and uh, I guess we need this well yeah we can keep that I guess but I wanted to show you on this one here if you uh, look at it some people are trying to claim that this this star that's visible on Soho C3 is somehow the asteroid and it's much bigger than they thought or something but if you go back and look last year the uh, this the star is the same place it makes the same trip every year it's it's, it's not the asteroid if you look at the asteroid right here you'll see that the apparent magnitude is 19.52 and there's no way Soho is going to see something at 19.52 it has trouble with things at a magnitude of 10. Anything around 10 or uh, dimmer, and Soho's not going to see it. So you're definitely not seeing this on Soho. It's uh, that's the star, and it comes around every year in the same place. And we can take and zoom back out on that, and uh, you can see the star over here still. And uh, in fact, we can put the uh, Make sure it's centered on the sun there. We can go to the field of view. And this one right here is uh, C3. And we can put that on there. And you can see it right there. The star is just inside of C3. This is on the first. They came on back here. We can take and run that backwards. And you can uh, see it come on. And uh, I believe it's the picture at C3 is cropped right here, so you're not going to get an accurate time on it for entering. But it was about October 30th that entered view. And you can run it ahead there and see it follow right on across. You can see YE55 right in front of the sun. No way you're going to see it from Earth with a telescope until it passes on the 8th. Right there, it would even pass out of the view of uh, Soho C3 on the 6th. But you still have your star there. So uh, we can go ahead and go back to the info and zoom out a little bit there. And run it ahead again. And you can watch the countdown there. I see down here the apparent magnitude is 977. So you would be able to see it if it was pointed in the right direction. But uh, I even asked a question on uh, on the board the other day, the conference they had, and they said that Soho doesn't have any way to track it, and uh, it's, it's moving so fast that it wouldn't work out very well anyway. So you forget about getting any images of it with Soho. And as you see, it's going extremely fast when it passes by. I can take and change that down to 3,000. And you can see the magnitude count down here to 8.7. So it would be visible if you could point Soho at it, but you're just not going to be able to point Soho at it. And uh, you can see it counts down to about 279 kilometers. I think I said miles in the last video, but it's kilometers. So it's going to pass uh, Soho at about 279,000 kilometers. We can go ahead here. And there's the Earth. Soho's not quite on the ecliptic. That's why the Earth is not on the ecliptic. One's a little, I think, uh, Soho's a little bit above the ecliptic right now. And there it goes past the Earth. And uh, it should be passing the Earth right around in. Uh, 2328 on the 8th. Let me zoom out on that. And it's passing them in right now. Pass both of them now. Alright, so uh, let's go to the next one. And the next one is going to be hovering above the Earth. I don't think we need that anymore. And this is from uh, above the North Pole, 
0.004 AU. And here's your star again that you're seeing from Soho. It's a little bit different alignment from Soho than it is where you are right here. And we can take and run that ahead. Let's take and zoom out a little bit here so you can see where the Earth is. I believe it's going to be down here and the moon would be over there. So you can run it ahead from there. And where is the Earth? There it is. See how much of it on the screen it is. Man, it's just barely on the screen. So right around in, uh, this is local time. It's going to be about 6.30 or 6.28 local time. And that would be right around in there somewhere. And uh, you run that up there. And it just gives you 0 0.002 away. And run it ahead again. And it's going to be, uh, let's see, 5 from 2, so it'd be about 2100 on the uh, 8th for passing the moon around in there. And 0 0.003. Another shot there. My math may be off. Point zero zero three. All right, so uh, let's go to the next one. And on the next one, we're going to be hovering ahead. And you see, these are basically going to be the same as the last video, seeing as though it's only 202 kilometers away. Here's uh, the star again that you see on C3. That is not exactly the uh, the asteroid. And there it goes whizzing by. Alright, so that's it. Just wanted to tell you that uh, it hasn't changed hardly a bit. And... Uh, I really don't think it's going to hit the Earth or the Moon, considering the updated radar positions put it about the same place as it was, and the CPAs are about the same place that they were. So uh, I guess we can take and uh, I can look back at the other one here, and uh, see everything's the same as it was on the last video. You got the best in Nebraska down there, and. Uh, 45P Han is still trying to run over Stereo A. And here's your Ellen and Dust Cloud out there. And here's the comet that's going to be coming by on, I think it's January 21st, close approach. And we can take and zoom in a little bit more here. Asteroids down there, Stereo B, Stereo A, Honda running over Stereo A, and YE55 passing by the Earth. Levy coming in, Ellen and going out. So we'll talk to you next time.